if my grades aren't good, I can't buy. So I try to stay consistent. If I see like uh, like my grade dropping, I try to pick up on it like as soon as possible. When I first met Jarrell, um, <laughs> of course he didn't like me, but uh, I made him clean up his room right away. And he looked at me, he gave me this look like, man, why are you here? <laughs> my mom invited you here. I'm like, yo, we got to change the route. So after a couple of years, um, me and his mom had a conversation. Um, got here, D's and F's turned to A's and B's. Oh man, I had no clue of boxing. No, no, uh, Franklin was a small town. Boxing really wasn't big. Only thing we knew was what was on TV. And then once I saw Jarrell in the living room, uh, looking at YouTube, trying to do the moves, I told him, I said, hey, you know, if that's what you want to do, I'm open for it. I know nothing about it. Um, only thing I can bring to the boxing world is the energy. I pick certain things from certain fighters to put it all in like one bowl and make it my own. Like for instance, okay. like Devin Haney's jab, immaculate. Uh, Jarrell grew up in the heart of Newport News. Um, you know, around a lot of violence, a lot of, uh, you know, kids that's kind of going the other way and, you know, just dealing with um, grief when he lost his grandmother. Um, I think that was one of the biggest eye openers for him, you know, just leaving that environment of having everything. After my grandmother died and I didn't meet Andre, I think I would still be in the same situation. He was like, he kind of guided me, gave me the, the, he showed me the ways to make everything easier instead of making life way harder. Bringing Coach Ian in is kind of giving me that extra help, you know, to give him the, the things that I can. Because in a sense, I got to kind of be like a brother parent. And, you know, when you have that football coach or that boxing coach that can take you to the next level, you always need that extra assistance. And we all come in together and try to make him the best person that he can. I still want to be the best, ever. I want to set my own legacy. So that's my drive. He was sparring some tough guys when he first started. I mean, we haven't shied away from that. His last two opponents have uh, combined, I think, uh, experience of 130 some fights. And he beat, he, you know, he's, he's doing, we go after the best. He, he wants only the ranked guys now. And that's why we're going to Nationals.